Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day, guys. I'm having a great day. As you can see in the background, I am working on my Mother's Day gift baskets, you all. And I want to tell you a little bit about it. <clears throat> and then we are going to get to designing a bow, okay? Um, that's what the purpose of this video is, to show you guys another um, technique or a different technique than what I normally use. Um, if you've been on the channel for a while, you've probably seen me use this technique, but I want to keep it refreshed and teach it to those of you that may not know. Okay. So this actual gift, let's start from beginning to finishing, um, from beginning to ending. Um, this box is an actual regular box that my mom wrapped for me. My mom normally does all the wrapping for my gift basket business. And this is some actual paper that I got from Walmart during the 90% off um, clearance sale after Christmas. This paper is reversible. So sometimes you will see me use the blue and white polka dot. And then sometimes you will see me using this color as well, the multicolor polka dot. This right here is an actual tree ornament that I got from Walmart. Same thing, 90% off after Christmas clearance. This belt actually came out of my boutique. The sunglasses came out of my boutique. And this bear, I want to say I either got it from Walmart or either Dollar General. Either way, y'all know I'm a 90% off girl. So that's what that bear was. Um, these flowers, I actually picked them up today from Walmart. Guys, make sure you scan a lot of their flowers. My particular Walmart didn't have a whole, whole lot of flowers but they did have this one and they had some really really nice spring bushes that i'm going to show you guys that i got for a dollar and 50 cent and i think they were originally like seven or eight dollars really really nice spring bushes but i'll show you those on another video um this is strawberry pound cake that i got for christmas from the bath and body works outlet and y'all we plan on going to the outlet i don't know if i'm gonna go tomorrow um, but I definitely need to go to the Bath and Body Works outlet. Y'all know that's where I get my, um, Bath and Body Works from at a very reasonable price. I know a lot of you shop the Bath and Body Works sale. I never actually shop that sale, believe it or not. I just buy my stuff from the outlet and, you know, some people be saying, well, those are, um, the, what do they call them? The retired sense, honey, I don't care nothing about it. And apparently my, um, Customers don't care about it. If it's a scent they like, they don't care whether it's retired or if it's working. Okay, so that's what we do and that's what we plan on doing because all I have in Bath & Body Works is the strawberry pound cake lotions that were left from Christmas. This is chocolates that I got after Christmas sale from <clears throat> Family Dollar, I believe it was. Yeah, I got these from Family Dollar. They carried them at Dollar General, but I got these from Family Dollar. Um, $3 from Walmart, the do-it-yourself bath bombs kit, and my back, and I use one of my pictures I got from Dollar General, guys, at 90% off, and you will see these pictures in almost all of my gifts because I use them as backings, and I got so, so many of them at 90% off, and I got a few for a penny. So, anyway, that's what this actual gift consists of. Um, this right here, the sparkling cider, and y'all, this sparkling cider is at Dollar General, and it has not gone on sale yet, not in my stores anyway. Um, this particular one I got from Family Dollar for 87 cents, and I wish I had gotten more of them, but I didn't. I got all that they had at my store, but I just wish I had to pursue them at other stores, but I didn't. I got quite a few of them. But you can never go wrong with sparkling ciders for any holidays. You can use that in anniversary baskets, Mother's Day baskets, Christmas baskets. You name it, you can put sparkling cider in it. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for it. It will eventually go on sale at Dollar General. It just hasn't as of yet. It normally has way went on sale by now. It normally follows the Christmas. Then it stopped following Christmas and it started following Valentine's. I don't know what Dollar General got going on now, y'all. But anyway, we are going to make this bow. And I know a lot of you, um, you know, some of you don't design the colors that I do and the way that I do. And that's fine because creativity is all about individuality. 
Um, but I'm pretty sure by now y'all can tell that I like colors and I like colors that normally don't go together. But anyway, um, well, to the average person, I'll put it like that. But anyway, we are going to make this bow. I'm going to save this part. I'll do that off of camera. But let me show you guys a technique while I'm on camera. For those of you that are still struggling with your bows, this is a very, 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 very simple way, guys, okay? Bows are very important. You're going to hear me preach it until John the Baptist, okay? Until John the Baptist ain't coming back. But I'm going to preach it like John the Baptist, okay? I'm going to prepare the way for the gift basket designers that are coming up and that are already in this game letting you know that if you ain't got no bow, you ain't got no show. No, I'm just missing. But bows are a game changer, guys. It will um, it will honestly determine whether somebody buy your gift or not. Are they buying it for the bow? No, but appeal sales, okay? So you want to make sure that you have something that's appealing to the eye. If you're already doing the bum gift baskets, why not go ahead and do the bum bows and add it with it? It's not complicated at all. It's different ways you can do bows that does not have to be complicated okay y'all so the method that i'm going to see which one i was going to do one way do i want to do that way yeah let's go ahead and do that way and then we'll do the other one on the next one okay and this one is just going to be making loops okay so basically what you're going to be doing is just really just folding this i wouldn't even call this a loop you're just going to be folding it as big as you want. If you want a real, real big bow, you will make this longer, okay? You will make your folds longer. You're just going to keep doing this on top of each other. Just folding, just folding on top of each other, okay? And being that I'm using two different materials, I'm going to stop it right here. All right? So we're going to fold it and fold it, all right? So once you have it folded like this, okay, it's just going one on top of the other. You're just overlapping it on top of each other. Then take and fold it in the middle, right, so that it looks like a V, so that you can get the center point of the ribbon, all right? Once you've gotten the center point of the ribbon, you're going to open it back up. And you're going to take your scissors, y'all. And this stuff does do your scissors out after a while. And you're going to go and make right in the crease where you made the crease. You're going to make a slit all the way through the whole layer, okay? And if your scissors do like mine, it may not be as easy. You're going to just make a little slit, okay? See? That little slit. Then you're going to go to your other side in your crease and do the same thing. All right. You got your crease. You got your crease. All right. Then you're going to take it and just mash it in the middle. Mash it like that. It gives you the look of a bow tie, okay? Gives you the look of the bow tie. Get you a... Pipe cleaner. Take your pipe cleaner and just tie right in the middle and twist it. All right? Tie it in the middle and twist it. And then all you're going to do is come in and start separating your loops. One by Same thing on the other side. Now 
then you come in and you just pull it out twist it and pull it out okay till you get it the desired look that you want okay don't be afraid to twist it and turn it That's that, all right? So then if you want to add your tail, all you got to do is come make you a separate piece of ribbon. Fold it in half. Add it up there. And then you got yourself a cute bow that you do not have to know how to um if you don't know how to do the method that i use this is a method that's really really simple to me and i hope it's simple to you guys as well let me show you how to cut your ends you fold it in half you take your scissors and you go at an angle to the corner of your ribbon, okay? Straight up. And it's making you a V-cut, okay? Give you a duck bill cut. You can leave it straight on the end or you can do it like this. All right. You can cut that little extra piece off if you want, or you can just hide it in there. All right, and there go you a bow. And if you want it fluffier or bigger, just keep adding more and more loops to it until you get it the way that you want it, all right? So here is one method of a bow, guys, and we'll come back and do another method. But y'all, make sure you are getting you some beautiful bows on your Mother's Day baskets. It will bring a whole different vibe to your gift, okay? All right, guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye, y'all.